should you carry a gun if you have young children? So should you carry concealed every day if you, you got young kids all around you? Well, I'm gonna give you my opinion and share what I personally do. My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer and I have several kids. I'll tell you how many in a minute. I do a tremendous amount of gun training and I recently heard a fellow and this is a, a guy's a well-known fellow. He's well-trained, uh, he's legit and he has young kids and very skilled in what he does. But he says, nope, I don't carry concealed at all. I don't carry around my young kids or do anything of that. And my first reaction, my initial knee-jerk reaction was like, that is the dumbest thing in the world. This guy, even though he's skilled and legit, like what a knucklehead. However, after my initial knee-jerk reaction, I said, well, isn't the wonderful thing about the US is we can all make our choices, meaning we got freedom of choice. So if this guy doesn't want to carry concealed around his young kids, that is clearly his prerogative. He can do whatever he wants. However, if you are trained with firearms, if you are comfortable with firearms, I think you should absolutely carry concealed. And when you have kids, you should even more want to carry concealed to protect them. So I've got six kids. I had my kids. Actually, I, that sounds like I actually had them. My wife and I had our kids after I left the agency. So I had kids later in life. So right now, and I got a thing, I'm gonna have to go slow. I've got a 10 year old. I have a eight year old. I have a six year old, a five year old, a three year old, and a 18 month old. Yes, I hit them all, all six kids. And I carry concealed every single day. I live in the free state of Utah, which is awesome, which means I can carry concealed uh, pretty much wherever I go. And the only reason I, again, I go back to this guy who's well-trained is, you know, you just, you're not comfortable around firearms enough. You haven't trained enough, even though he is well-trained, so it doesn't make sense, but maybe he's not as trained as I think. When I'm around my kids, I'm not obviously pulling the gun out. I'm not doing anything goofy. When I'm around my kids, and again, I'm carrying concealed every single day, I'm often carrying in my front right pocket. So this right here, Sig Sauer P365, great little pocket gun. This is one of the guns I'll often carry. Put that over here. Uh, maybe I'm carrying in my front pockets. This right here, Smith & Wesson revolver, a little snubby. Admittedly, I don't carry my snubby revolvers as much these days. I'm mostly carrying my, my semi-autos in my pocket. This gun here, great little gun. This is a house gun, meaning all over my house, I'm gonna show you some of the safes. I have rapid access safes, and this will be in one of them in case I need to grab it, or I've got 320 acres here in Utah, Spy Ranch, where we do a lot of our training. Depending on where I'm going, I may have a 1911 on my hip. I love the 1911. And since I live in Utah where it's free, I can open carry too. I can walk around my yard, do whatever I want, and nobody cares if you have a gun on your hip. Like my neighbor who walks his kids to the bus stop every single day with his gun on his hip. God bless America. God bless free states. So because my kids are my family, kids, wife are the most important thing in the world. Why would I not want to carry concealed around them? What if we're in Walmart one day and that active shooter comes in and I don't have my gun on me and I'm the guy because I'm trained and come out and take that shot to stop the active shooter. If you're comfortable with guns, if you're not and you've never trained, I get it. But if you are a gun owner, if you have your concealed carry permit, if you're comfortable with guns, why you would not carry concealed around your young children because you're being safe. You're having it in a holster. It's on your hip. It's in your appendix carry. It's in your pocket. You're not letting your kids go in your pocket. My kids know they don't do that when I'm carrying my front right pocket. So it's not like you're being dangerous. Also, because I have six young kids, every single gun in my house is locked up. When I come in for the day, assuming I'm not going anywhere else, I will take my gun off my hip. I'll take my gun out of my pocket and I'm putting it in a rapid access safe. On my nightstand, there are two rapid access safes. These are some of the safes I own. I believe in having electronic safes and also a backup, which is a simplex safe, meaning it doesn't require any batteries, anything, because I have had my electronic safes fail. So for instance, this right here, an example of an electronic safe, it's got my little keypad. I can open it up in three seconds. I'll open it up. If I can open it up here there we go so it's got plenty of room to throw you know my gun in and everything this is one of these safes that is stored around my house because you should have guns on every level of your home what if the criminal breaks in and well i was gonna put up here but what if you're in your basement he breaks out on the first level and your gun's on the top level in your master bedroom kind of a long way to go to get your gun so on every single level of my home i have these rapid access safes this is the one that takes batteries this is a simplex one I like these simplex ones because I don't have to worry about them failing. So this is just a company called V-Line, but there's plenty of companies out there that make these simplex safes. So all I've got to do is push in these buttons. I can turn it. I can be in there in seconds. Same thing when pushing the electronic one. I'll get this one open in here and you can see there's plenty of room. So here in my safe, you can see the opening of this one. So if I were to take my P365, throw it in there, it's fine. It, you know, I shut it and everything like that. Let me spin that around. So have safes all over, have electronic safes, have your simplex safes, and please, if you're comfortable, carry concealed as often as you can.
You never know when that day is going to come and how bad would you feel if you were a responsible gun owner who wasn't carrying concealed around your young children and that active shooter walked in and you were around. So I recommend everybody who can legally and is comfortable and is trained carry concealed should. I think that about covers it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I always check them out. I always respond to them as many as I can. I'm former CIA officer Jason Hansen. If you want to know more stuff about guns, especially how to keep them off the government's radar and hide them, click on the link below. Do not forget to like, subscribe, turn on that ring notification, and God bless you, your family, the Second Amendment, and carry concealed, carry concealed, carry concealed.